Welcome to Piping Engineering World. In this video we are going to learn about 20 plus most used welding inspection tools and instruments. Before watching the video please subscribe us to get more updates about piping engineering and also join us on Telegram to get updates on your mobile. Now let's start the video. Measurement and inspection of welded joint is an important step in quality control and reliability of welded constructions. External inspection allows you to detect such external defects such as undercuts, uncertified craters facing surface cracks, lack of fusion, flows, etc. Meters of welded joints and welding templates, template welder, allow us to determine the size of joints, joint width and high, angle of bevel, depth and width of preparation, included angle, root gap, department of root face, convexity smoothness of transition weld to the base metal, leg length, etc. Here are the few most used welding inspection tools and instruments. Number 1 Palmgren Weld Gauge A tool used to accurately check butt and fillet welds in order to meet exact weld specifications. It measures the size of concave fillet welds, maximum convexity, as well as butt weld reinforcements. Number 2 Vernier Height Gauge the vernier height gauge has a vernier caliper, equipped with a special base block, measuring jaw, and other attachments which make the instrument suitable for height measurements. Number 3 Surface Roughness Comparator Surface roughness comparators are used within industry to measure or verify the as manufactured surface finish, roughness, of a part or assembly. Comparators are selected and used based on the manufacturing process used to create a particular surface finish. Number 4 Radius Gauge A radius gauge, also known as a fillet gauge, is a tool used to measure the radius of an object. Radius gauges require a bright light behind the object to be measured. The gauge is placed against the edge to be checked and any light leakage between the blade and edge indicates a mismatch that requires correction. Number 5 Depth Micrometer Gauge Depth micrometer used to measure the depth of an object with precision and accuracy with least count of 0.01 mm. The measuring span is 25 mm just like in micrometer, that can change by changing up setting rod. Number 6 High Low Gauge It is an essential tool for pipe and welding inspection. It can perform the following functions. Used to measure internal misalignment. Used to measure pipe wall thickness. Used to measure fit up gap. Used to measure crown height of butt welds. Quickly determines if fillet welds meet NRC visual weld acceptance criteria for structural weldments. Number 7. The bridge cam gauge, commonly known as the cam bridge gauge, is an accurate, sturdy gauge for both shop and field applications. It can measure fillet weld leg length and throat thickness, height of weld reinforcement, depth of undercut, misalignment and the angle of preparation. Number 8. Digital Vernier Caliper is upgrading version of analog vernier caliper, which is a widely used linear measurement instrument with a least count of 0.01 mm, more accurate than analog. This digital type of vernier is similar to analog vernier caliper instead dimension output in digital manner that is more convinces than analog type. Number 9. A magnifying glass, or a loop, from Old French, meaning an imperfect gem, is the simplest of optical instruments intended for the enhancement of visual capability. A loop is a simple, small magnification device used to see small details more closely. They generally have higher magnification than a magnifying glass, and are designed to be held or worn close to the eye. A loop does not have an attached handle, and its focusing lenses are contained in an opaque cylinder or a cone. On some loops this cylinder folds into an enclosing housing that protects the lenses when not in use. Number 10. A tape measure or measuring tape is a flexible ruler used to measure size or distance. It consists of a ribbon of cloth plastic, fiberglass, or metal strip with linear measurement markings. It is a common measuring tool. Its design allows for a measure of great length to be easily carried in pocket or toolkit and permits one to measure around curves or corners. Number 11. 
Spirit level is a device which is used to check the level of surfaces especially surface tables. A spirit level is a basic bubble instrument such like it is an angular measuring device in which the bubble always moves to the highest point of a glass vial mount to top surface on spirit level. Number 12 Rigid Boroscope A boroscope occasionally called a boroscope. Though this spelling is non-standard is an optical instrument designed to assist visual inspection of narrow, difficult to reach cavities, consisting of a rigid or flexible tube with an eyepiece or display on one end, an objective lens or camera on the other, linked together by an optical or electrical system in between. Number 13. A go-no-go -go gauge refers to an inspection tool used to check a workpiece against its allowed tolerances via a go-no-go -go test. Its name is derived from two tests, the check involves the workpiece having to pass one test, go, and fail the other no-go. Number 14. A feeler gauge is a tool used to measure gap widths. Feeler gauges are mostly used in engineering to measure the clearance between two parts. Number 15. A micrometer, sometimes known as a micrometer screw gauge, is a device incorporating a calibrated screw widely used for accurate measurement of components in mechanical engineering and machining, as well as most mechanical trades, along with other Metrologica Zero instruments such as dial, vernier, and digital calipers. Number 16. Inside micrometer is used to measure the larger internal dimension. Inside micrometer can measure internal diameter of holes and registers. Number 17. This small pocket-sized stainless steel gauge is designed to identify the condition of pipe like depth of pit, pipe thickness etc. Gauge includes 110 mm long scale in metric and inch. Conversion table available on backside and formulas on top. Number 18. Steel rules, also called rulers, are essential in any shop when accuracy matters. Steel rules are inherently more accurate than folding rules because they are made in one piece and so avoid the inaccuracies, however small, which are inherent in folding rules because of the to play in their hinges. The requirements for accuracy in steel rules vary greatly, however, and the range of products varies likewise. Number 19. A taper gauge is a measuring tool that measures sizes such as the width of gaps and grooves, hole diameter, and pipe inner diameter. In addition to models made of metals such as carbon tool steel and stainless steel, there are also models made of plastic that do not easily damage the object. Metal models with round cut gauge tips are even safer. They can make accurate measurements with a scale of 0.05 mm from 1 to 60 mm. A taper gauge has a case or cap made of brass or polycarbonate for easy carrying, so there are many types that can easily fit in the breast pocket. Number 20. A measuring instrument consisting of an L-shaped frame with a linear scale along its longer arm and an L-shaped sliding attachment with a vernier used to read directly the dimension of an object represented by the separation between the inner or outer edges of the two shorter arms. Number 21. There are two methods for performing dimensional measurements. Direct measurement and indirect measurement. With direct measurements, measuring instruments such as vernier calipers, micrometers, and coordinate measuring machines are used to measure the dimensions of the target directly. These measurements are also known as absolute measurements. Measurements can be performed over a wide range specified by the scale of the measuring instrument, but there is also the chance that the measurement will be wrong due to erroneous readings of the scale. With indirect measurements, the dimensions are measured using measuring instruments such as dial gauges that look at the difference between targets and reference devices such as gauge blocks and ring gauges. These are also known as comparative measurements due to the fact that a comparison is performed using an object with standard dimensions. Number 22. The VWOC single weld gauge can be used to measure undercut at the toe of the weld for both butt welds and fillet welds. It has a number of other purposes which make it versatile. It can be used to measure weld cap height and can estimate the size of porosity with the inbuilt porosity comparator. 
as porosity is often assessed as the number of pores per a given length the VWAC has a 25 mm calibrated section so this assessment can be made. The VWAC single weld gauge can measure undercuts pits to 6 mm, crowns to 6 mm by half a mm increments, check porosity, and crown height. Number 23. A versatile tool for the use of welding operator. The tool can be used with ease for weld joint preparatory functions as well as for checking of the weld joint. The tool combines a bore gauge, angle gauge, depth gauge and weld height gauge. The tool is made in stainless steel with polish finish. Features Measure concave or convex fillet welds ranging in 1 8 to 1 in size. Stainless steel construction to improve durability and prevent rust. Durable laser etched size marking with black ink fill for improved visibility. Precision cut smooth edges to prevent cuts during use. Number 24. Rounded indications is a indications with a maximum length of three times the width or less on the radiograph are defined as rounded indications. These indications may be circular, elliptical, conical, or irregular in shape and may have tails. When evaluating the size of an indication, the tail shall be included. The indication may be from any imperfection in the weld, such as porosity, slag, or tungsten. Number 25. A boroscope, occasionally called a boroscope, though this spelling is non-standard, is an optical instrument designed to assist visual inspection of narrow, difficult to reach cavities, consisting of a rigid or flexible tube with an eyepiece or display on one end, an objective lens or camera on the other, linked together by an optical or electrical system in between. The optical system in some instances is accompanied by, typically fiber optic, illumination to enhance brightness and contrast. An internal image of the illuminated object is formed by the objective lens and magnified by the eyepiece which presents it to the viewer's eye. Thanks for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe us. Also join us on Telegram and Facebook.